Hello, my name is Ken. I was diagnosed with a retinal disease called central retinal vein occlusion in 2002. Since that time, I've had two intravitreal injections. I'm not a doctor, and I have no medical training, so remember to consult your physician without delay when making medical decisions. An intravitreal injection is an injection of a drug directly into the inner cavity of the eye. The inner cavity of the eye is filled with a clear jelly-like substance called the vitreous, highlighted here in yellow. The steps used to prepare the eye for injection differ somewhat from doctor to doctor, but the goal is the same, prevent infection and maintain patient comfort. While seated in a reclining position, various numbing and infection preventing drops are used to prepare the eye. The area around the eye is thoroughly cleaned. Some doctors inject a numbing agent under the protective membrane that covers the white of the eye in the area where the intravitreal injection will take place. This is accomplished by raising the membrane with forceps and then injecting through the raised membrane, creating a pocket of numbing medicine between the membrane and the wall of the eye. The color of the medicine in this illustration, as well as in the rest of this video clip, is used just to provide contrast with the background. The actual color of the medicine is different. Instead of doing this preliminary numbing injection, other doctors prefer to numb the injection site with a gel. This gel is held in place over the injection site using a cotton swab. An eyelid speculum may be used to hold the eyelids apart during the injection. This prevents the lid and lashes from contaminating the injection site. The actual injection is accomplished through the white of the eye in an area that is usually covered by the lower eyelid. The purpose of injecting directly into the eye is to get a helpful amount of the drug to the areas of the eye that need it without having to subject the rest of the body to high levels of the drug. After the injection, direct pressure may be applied to the injection site with a cotton swab. The injection has the immediate effect of raising the internal pressure of the eye. This pressure may cause reduced vision as it prevents blood flow in the optic nerve and retina. Usually this pressure will subside on its own within just a few minutes of the injection. After the injection, you may be able to see the medicine floating around in your eye. Any kind of motion, like sitting up after the injection, or turning your eyes, stirs up the medicine within the eye. The visual effect of this stirring can be a little disconcerting at first. In the days following an intravitreal injection, expect to use prescription antibiotic eye drops several times a day. Also, pain in the eye or decreased vision should be reported to your physician without delay. In the weeks following the injection, the drug dissolves and spreads out, reaching various structures within the eye. Although these injections are generally considered safe, they do carry the risk of complications. Complications of intravitreal injections, regardless of the substance injected, include, but are not limited to, rapid formation or progression of cataract, inflammation inside the eye due to infection, detachment of the retina from the wall of the eye, and bleeding inside the eye. In experienced hands, these complications occur at low rates. In addition, there may be complications related to the particular drug injected. For example, intravitreal kenalog quite often causes problems with increased pressure within the eye. It may also cause the formation or progression of a cataract. Common complaints following the injection include irritation in the eye, like a piece of sand in the eye, watery eyes, soreness of the eye, and the bloody appearance of the white part of the eye. To sum up, then, an intravitreal injection is the injection of a drug directly into the vitreous of the eye. From the vitreous, the drug dissolves and spreads out, reaching various areas of the eye.